In the first problem, we need to find the number of product terms in the minimized SOP expression obtained through the following K-map. There is one K-map given in the problem and uh, there are 16 cells in this K-map. And when we have 16 cells in the K-map, this implies there are 4 variables. Variables are not given in the problem, so we will assume 4 variables. Let's say they are A, B, C and D, where A is the MSB most significant bit and uh, D is the LSB least significant bit so I will modify this K map like this A B C D this row is for A complement B complement this row is for A complement B this row is for A B and the last row is for A B complement this column is for C complement D complement the second column is for C complement D C D and the last column is for CD complement. Now we can easily obtain the minimized SOP expression by using this K-map. In this K-map, D donates the don't care terms. There are two don't care terms in this K-map and we can use this don't care terms while making the groups. So let's quickly try to obtain the minimized SOP expression. I will first make the group of four ones, the four ones at the corner and I will call it P1. In the second group, I will combine this one with this don't care. You can also combine this one with this one, but I am combining it with this don't care and I will call it P2. Let's say the function is F and it is the function of A, B, C and D and it is equal to P1 or P2, where P1 and P2 are the prime implicants. P1 is equal to B complement D complement P2 is equal to A B C so there are two product terms in the minimized SOP form this is the minimized SOP form which we have obtained from the K map and uh, there are two product terms in this expression so option A is the correct option there was nothing special in this problem it was a very easy problem appeared in gate 2006 exam now we will solve the second problem in this part. The second problem I have taken from GATE 2012 exam. Let's read the problem. In the sum of products function f, which is having the variables x, y and z, x is the MSB, z is the LSB and the min terms are 2, 3, 4 and 5. We have to find the prime implicants. First I will make the Carnot map. There are three variables x, y and z. So I will make 8 cell k map. Once I have the k map, I will fill the k map according to the min terms given in the problem. The min terms are 2, 3, 4, 5. I will first write down the cell numbers. This cell is for m0. This cell is for m1 in the same way. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. The min terms are 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have 1 in this cell, 1 in this cell, 1 in this cell and 1 in this cell. Now we can easily make the group of 1's. In the first group, I will combine these two ones. I will call it P1. In the second group, I will combine these two ones and I will call it P2. The function f is simply equal to P1 or P2. From P1, we have x complement and y from p2 we have x and y complement x and y complement so this is the function f and we have to find out the prime implicants x complement y is the first prime implicant x y complement is the second prime implicant so there are two prime implicants and option a is the correct option in this problem there is only one important thing and it is the definition of prime implicants. So what are prime implicants? Prime implicants are the largest possible group of ones. In this case you can see this group of one is the largest possible group. You cannot make other group bigger than this. For example if I have two more ones here then this group is not the largest possible group because I can make the group of four ones like this 
so this group the green one is the largest possible group and uh, this is the prime implicand and this group is not the prime implicand so the definition of prime implicand is the only important thing in this problem and if you know the definition you can easily solve this problem because making groups and calculating the function f is not a tough task for three variable Carnot map so along with practicing the k maps you must also revise the definitions involved like prime implicants, essential prime implicants, non-essential prime implicants because sometimes you will face problems in your exam based on these definitions. I will end this lecture here. In the next lecture we will solve another problem set of K map appeared in gate exam. So see you in the next one.